Hi friends, welcome to the NPTEL course on entrepreneurship. We are in week 12 special lecture and the focus is on startup development methodology. Let me take stock of whatever we have covered under these special lectures so far. I have delivered 11 special lectures so far. These comprised lectures dedicated to the following topics. Unicorn developments, startup M&A, startups in COVID era, startup models, electric vehicle startups. Then I transited to explaining the startup development methodology and I simulated how startups could think about conceptualizing and developing a startup project. So I took the examples of whispering fan, portable ventilator, antiviral mass, smart glasses. I also outlined for you how we can develop a business strategy and a business model for the startup to succeed. Then I moved to actual startup projects undertaken by my MBA students IIT Madras. So I have given nine project ideas for the teams and they have taken up those projects in right earnest and they came up with simulated startup projects within the time available. I first outlined the digital projects. There are four digital platforms which the students worked on. One was eCubair, the second was Digivax, the third was eNano and the fourth was EHR, Emergency Health Records Project. Then I moved to the product based startups that the students have developed. Solar Mobile Charger, Sara UV Box, Gas Detector, Lingua Reader and now in the week 12 we are Waste to Compost Making as the startup project. Throughout this journey we have had several updates relating to the startup ecosystem and individual companies. We have harmonized the entrepreneurship course with the latest contemporary developments in this space and most importantly we have tried to stimulate your thinking towards development of startups take up a creative idea identify the problem come up with a solution go through the ideation prototype testing testing and validation and commercialization phases and while doing so you please apply design thinking is what i talk to you about and I also said there are several methods of raising finances and as long as you have a good project with the creative uh, technological support you will be in a position to raise funds and you would be off to a good start. This project which is based on converting home waste into compost has been a very unique project very dear to my heart because it is environmentally responsible. It is also socially responsible, it cuts waste at the source and also it develops a technological framework for the conversion process. And several concepts that have been taught throughout the course have been reflected in the way the students attempted this project. I would say that they have done a good job of understanding how a startup should be conceptualized and executed. E-Composter is an IITM DOMS MBA entrepreneurship course project. The student credits are due to Anushya, Vaishnavi, Dikshita and Pavitra. On an overall basis, India generates 62 million tons of waste each year. 31 million tons are dumped in landfill sites which are brimming in every city and in every town with overflowing waste. About 43 million tons, that is 70 percent of waste is collected, of which about 12 million tons are treated. The volume of waste is projected to reach 165 million tons by 2031 and 436 million tons by 2050. And where does this waste get generated? The waste gets generated in our homes, in our offices, in our factories and in every place where individuals reside or move about. If we are able to cut the waste at the source 
by 3R principle that is reduce, reuse and recycle that is one great way of reducing the waste. However, whatever waste is generated in spite of the 3R techniques, we need to convert into usable products and one of the usable products is compost which can be used for gardening. What is composting and what can be used? Composting can be applied to two types of waste. One is a green waste which is biological waste from kitchen and garden. Another is the brown waste which is common based biodegradable waste. And to convert the waste into compost we require water which will create moisture and break down the organic matter. Why should it be used? Compost will improve soil fertility by preventing soil erosion. It provides nutrients for crop production and it can reduce more than 50% of carbon dioxide equivalent greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, there is a strong environmental case for composting. The startup vision and mission statement have been as follows for this company. Vision is one of making composting a basic felt need in every household. Waste should not be seen as something which is despisable and thrown out for someone else to take care of. Every company, every office, every factory and every household should think of waste as a responsibility and the further responsibility is to convert waste through composting into usable menu. The mission of the startup is to create awareness on waste management and composting, gain permanent customers by addressing customer issues and needs, and strive for best quality. Although this startup has focused on household waste, the principles, the methodologies, and also the technologies can well be used for office waste and also for factory waste. This company is named as Ecovin and a startup, and who are we, this startup is committed to sustainability at home and in the community. Ecovin is started with an aim to make composting a habit in every household. The company offers one-stop solution to all household composting needs. It's hassle-free, non-toxic, fast and empowered with advanced technology. Ecovin uses waste to enrich soil through the composting process. We are all aware of the entrepreneurial journey and it is worthwhile recapturing that journey in terms of understanding its applicability to the waste conversion. First of all, we should understand waste and compost in terms of physical and chemical parameters and properties. Then we should identify the sources and quantum of different kinds of waste in a kitchen. We should establish the benefits and costs of composting waste versus discarding the waste. Conduct research with homemakers to identify the pain points in the traditional system. The research should include living with the homemakers on waste cycle. This is design thinking at its uh, peak. Identify a potential waste to compost product solution. Continue the research to identify what is ideally required from the potential solution. Identify gaps in the existing market. Study the competitors and their products. Develop a product with a strong, unique selling proposition. Continue research with the homemakers to test the product concept and modify if needed. And establish the proof of concept. So there are 12 steps which are considered essential for the startup to take its concept to a workable prototype stage. What does compost comprise of? It comprises nitrogen to build cell structure and carbon as a source of energy. The C by N ratio is a critical parameter of composting. Ideal C by N ratio should be 30 is to 1, 30 carbon and 1 nitrogen. This provides good balance of carbon and nitrogen for the microorganisms to remain active. This analysis and study proves to you once again that when you take up a product, you should thoroughly research the science and technology 
behind the product so that you can get a product which is superior which is creative and which is a differentiated product so examples of source of nitrogen that is the green waste vegetable scraps 15 to 20 is to 1 coffee ground 20 is to 1 glass clippings 15 dash 25 is to 1 manure 5 to 25 is to 1 what are the examples of sources of carbon brown waste the source and the carbon nitrogen ratios atom leaves 30 80 is to 1 straw 40 100 is to 1 wood chips sawdust 100 500 is to 1 bark 100 130 is to 1 mixed paper 150 200 is to 1 newspaper corrugated cardboard 500 600 is to 1 so as you can see from this green waste has certain characteristics and brown waste has certain characteristics and when you develop compost through this you should bear how they should be intermixed and how the ideal ratio is used when you apply design thinking to this project you should hear the voice of the customer and who is the customer the homemaker so you need to have interactions with homemakers you should conduct a survey on waste management and composting in the households you supplement that with face-to-face -face interactions and create a social community on waste and compost management for feedback that's how you capture the voice of the customer through design thinking and living in the ecosystem along with the customer so to find out the voice of the customer and to capture the customer needs analysis a survey has been planned and it had a major role in understanding the customer requirements and in concept development a survey was conducted to understand customer needs and wants on a home composter some of the questions asked do you own a terrace garden nursery or have any experience in raising crops if yes have you used compost for your plants have you made compost yourself if yes which method of composting did you use did you find the process of composting easy what challenges did you face while composting have you purchased a ready-made compost are you willing to invest in an electronic composter what are the top three features that you expect in an electronic composter and how much are you willing to pay for an electronic composter as you can see the questionnaire tries to find out the background then the desires and then the willingness to invest in an electronic composter when you apply the design thinking to identify the voice of the customer if you have respondents and if they make good responses you can definitely zero in on the voice of the customer and that will help you in turn to arrive at the critical to quality parameters few examples of interview transcript and this ctq are given below ctq is to create more awareness on composting people said i don't understand how to make compost at home another ctq has been less time using the product child proofing with kids i don't have time i'm afraid if the equipment would harm my child another ctq cost effective product safe compost are the primary requirements i cannot spend much on composting i am afraid if it will lead to infection in the house parameter the questions asked by the customers help in understanding their requirements is there a power backup in case of power failure does the electric composter consume a lot of electricity does the process of composting release toxic gases how about aftercare services is it easy to locate a service center is the cleaning process for the composter easy will the additional ph supplements be given is the electric composter child proof so many questions are swirling in the minds of the customers unless all those questions are captured and answers provided the concept of composting will never take off so design thinking helps the startup founders understand the voice of the customers with empathy and find a creative solution so having applied this design thinking they also could find out certain gaps performing gap analysis during the design process helps in understanding the gap between the actual product and the expected product 
Traditional composting methods available in the market lack several features as listed. The process of composting can take anywhere between 6 months to a year. It is too long a time and in this time more waste keeps on accumulating. Food waste from meat, dairy or processed food cannot be used. So it has to be consumed through landfill sites only. Open file composting attracts pests and insects. Traditional composting occupies a lot of space, about 6 square feet, which can be an issue for the urban crowd. It requires manual turning of compost in a pit, which needs to be done regularly and there are issues of hygiene involved in this. Composting in the traditional way is also weather bound and composting in winter when there is no sunlight is extremely difficult. So there is a huge gap that needs to be filled in terms of composting as a process for the residential areas. So what is the solution definition? The design thinking process helps us in prioritizing requirements. This helps in avoiding tactical solutions and builds features that solve the customer's problems. By following design thinking process and understanding the customer requirements, we can arrive at the following product feature prioritization and the fourth step process of compost maker. You need to have versatility, compactness, less laborious, less time consuming, eco-friendly and non-toxic. These are the prioritized features of a product. And in the making of composting, there is the first fundamental or the zero step of collecting the waste, then drying the waste, grinding the waste and cooling the waste. The basic compost making is a three step process, but collection of the waste itself is one critical process and together they make the four step process of making the compost. What is the industry comprised of? Are there people who are offering compost makers? There have been several case studies of waste to compost missions. The Kerala State Department of Horticulture has initiated a project for farm reclamation. The governments of various states support terrace farming and other waste conversion initiatives. Individual initiatives generate compost and use in home gardening are found to be highly time consuming. In one case, it took 45 days to convert waste into home gardening compost even with modern technology. And the use of traditional pit methods is one of the biggest barriers to home composting the traditional way. We can segment the composting market in India in terms of the following. One, form type composting, which is commercial, community, home garden and corporate. There is a growing medium which has hydroponics, aquaponics and aeroponics. There is a locational description, indoor farming, outdoor farming. And the segmentation also can be in terms of high, middle and low income. The global market for composting industry is expected to reach $56 billion and register a growth rate of 5%. And the expected rate of growth in India is supposed to be much, much higher on a low base. What are the global waste contributors? Food and green waste contributes 57%. Rubber and leather contributes 2%, wood 1%. Plastic is another big item of waste, 8%. Paper and cardboard 10%, metal 3%, glass 4% and others 15%. As of 2021, urban India alone generates 0.15 million tons per day of MSW. The volume of waste is projected to reach 165 million tons by 2031 and 436 million tons by 2050. These are horrendous figures. If this project and if this product is a matter of environmental friendliness and environmental responsibility, is there enough technology that is getting directed towards this? So a patent search was conducted by the team in the US Patent Office database and the EU Patent Office database. And the patent search led to the 
availability of waste food recycling machines and processes, composting machines and composting processes, components and assembly of the machines and manufacturing methods of components and machines, green chemistry processes related to waste, composting and environmental protection, which means that there is considerable body of technology and knowledge related to patenting of these products. There are also competitors which are working in this field. EcoBot is an advanced solution for converting organic waste into fertilizer in 24 hours. Backed by a strong R&D team, EcoBot has a decent turnover annually. Food Cycler is another competitor. It reduces the weight and volume of the food waste by 90% by creating a sterile, odorless and nutrient-rich soil amendment. With international registered retail sellers to seven countries, Food Cycler has a turnover of USD 30 to 40 million annually. Then we have a simple human compost candy with a composter that can be attached to the simple human trash cans. These mini composters act as a great reminder for composting. With order volume of 10,000 to 50,000, simple human has a turnover of 25 to 15 million annually. These are some of the competitors available. The potential customers for these products are not necessarily the small homes. These are larger homes, larger residential communities. So we still need to identify a target market and potential customer segments. Home gardeners and nurseries could be one such segment. Municipalities could be another segment. Local farmers the third segment and schools universities could be other segment so from home to schools and universities you see a gradation of the institutional nature of the target market and its segments so looking at the overall scope that is available across various market segments where should we really concentrate so the startup team said that we will concentrate only on one segment that is the homes and small restaurant segment. We will develop economical smart waste to compost maker for homes and small restaurants. It will be clean, simple, energy efficient, safe to use and affordable. It should handle both wet and dry waste to generate compost of quality. It should be digitally connected through a mobile app. That's why it's called e-composter. The team has unveiled a logo and a name. The name is EcoWin for the startup and the logo is described here a home within a leaf. Composting made is the tagline. For developing the prototype certain functional specifications have been set. The capacity would be of 3 kg. Input types will be only dry waste, only wet type waste or both dry and wet type waste. pH level will be 6 to 8. Power 1 kilowatt, time cycle 2 hours and sound levels 70 dB max. If you have remembered the whispering fan example, we have arrived at 60 to 70 dB as the max sound which we can tolerate. So this group has decided to keep the sound level at an acceptable level of 70 decibels. What are the operating instructions for the prototype? There are some allowable waste products and there are disallowed waste products. Green waste of vegetable and fruit scraps, coffee grounds, grass scrapings, manure, meat, dairy and processed food is green waste. Brown waste is of hay, straw, wood chips, sawdust, bark, paper and cardboard. Disallowed waste is paste, pet waste, oils, foreign objects, deceased plants, chewing gums. And what would be the user manual? You open the lid, add accumulated kitchen waste into the bin, add additional nutrients if any required, close the lid and plug in the e-compost maker to the power source, ensure that all indicators show green status, press the start button, close the lid, press start, let the cycle run for 3 to 8 hours, let the unit revert to standby or shut the unit off. There will be five indicators for this machine. Change filter, time to change the filters. Drying mode lasts between 30 and 60 minutes. Grinding mode, 
lasts between 2 and 4 hours. Cooling mode lasts for 30 minutes and pH level. And what are the cleaning instructions? To clean the exterior, soak and wire out dishcloth until dry. Wipe down the exterior and remove any remaining moisture with dry cloth. To clean the bin, make sure it is empty. Add disinfectant and turn on the cleaning mode. The unit automatically shuts once cleaning is done. So the product is clear in terms of what it can accept and what it should not accept. The user manual is clear in advising a set of standard operating instructions for the user in terms of usage as well as in terms of cleaning. So the technical specifications are then drawn up. The waste is heated in the drying process to 40 degrees Celsius to kill weed seeds and pathogens. The air is pushed out through the back vent through carbon filters. Waste gets reduced to up to 90%. In the grinding step, the unit's internal grinding gears then turn the contents an average of one full revolution per minute. This further breaks down the food waste into small, oftentimes powder-like particles, which can be easily mixed in with soil to release the nutrients. In the final stage, which is the cooling stage of the three-step process, this cycle returns the unit and the bucket contents to room temperature for safe handling. If you do wet compost making, which is optional, water is added through internal pipes. Blades churn the contents in slow speed to form wet compost. For cleaning, disinfectant is sprayed through spray nozzle. Water is sprayed to clean the bin. Drying mode is activated once cleaned. So these are the technical specifications. Now to develop the prototype, you need to identify the components. That is a bill of materials is required. And the sources for various components are also required. So some of the components which can be understood easily are the following. Compost machines, external body. It should be steel coated with zinc and there is a vendor. Removable bucket with lid, porcelain coated aluminum plastic for prototype. Carbon filters with cap, hermetically sealed wrapped with twist on and twist off design. Setting knob, dry composting, wet composting and cleaning. Dual functionality lid, grinding blades and spray nozzle. Water flow shaft, water vapor for composting, water for wet composting and cleaning. Additional shaft to add nutrient. Cooling fan to bring down the temperature to room temperature. Indicator lamps, very important, on off. pH indicator, good access. Four lamp indicator to tell the user change filter, drying mode, grinding mode, cooling mode, button for wet compost making, cleaning mode on off. Electronics comprise microcontroller, Atmel 8089, pH sensor, thermistor, NIR sensor, Arduino for prototype. So this is an operating sketch of the machine. There will be an impeller, there will be a thermistor and waste will get in and there will be a fan and a heater. And the top lid which I have talked about is there and there is a removable bucket, rotating blades for churning and composter collector tray. There will be a 360 spray nozzle which is mounted on a axle pole. The top view of the operating uh, sketch is as follows. There is a temperature indicator, there is a pH level indicator, on off switch, change filters. As I told, there are four uh, filters one for change and the other three for the process steps of grinding drying and cooling and one of the reasons why this is called e-composter is because it is connected to the mobile application so you can start based on the mobile app you can control the machine through the mobile app you can also learn about the waste composting and operating the machine through the tutorial and each stage can be seen and controlled pH level can be monitored, the temperature can be monitored and the weight can be understood. So the status checkers are the stage of composting process, pH level indicator, temperature and weight. And the app specification is on off button, status checker, retail to find nearby nurseries, wholesale market to sell fertilizers, service to raise tickets and tutorial for guidance. 
The manufacture process has three stages. One is the prototype stage, second is the phase one manufacture and the third is the phase two manufacture. In prototype stage, you by and large outsource most of the component systems and conduct only the pilot assembly. In phase one manufacture, you try to in-house assembly with high level of outsourced and low in-house components. In phase two manufacture, you combine in-house assembly with progressively higher in-house components. This is how the manufacturing process takes off in a startup because a startup cannot do everything in-house and getting first to the market as well as right to the market is one of the cardinal principles of a good startup development. Prototype development needs to be budgeted as I said in the main course and as I repeated in all of the startup projects that I have demonstrated. So for each component you need a cost per unit and you need to do the vendor selection based on L1, L2, L3 characteristics as also based on the reputation of the vendor and the quality parameters that the vendor is able to offer. There will be some which will have a bigger level of sophistication like pH sensor, thermistor sensor and some which will have a lot of mechanical capabilities, mechanical characteristics such as spray nozzles, lid blades. So each vendor has to have certain capability in the type of the component that the vendor is offering and we should select based on those specializations. The manufacturing process moves like this. First of all, you build a 3D model of the prototype, clay modeling. Then you do the compost machine by pressing the steel in appropriate dimension, embedding the shaft holes and providing the coating. Then you iron the steel, press it to the shape in the manufacturing unit and create the compost pit. Then you create the external body stop portion by installing the buttons and indicator labs. Then you develop a dual functionality lid which is welded and combined with blades to make a blade flower which is fitted to the lid through the axle pole and to that you fit the spray nozzle and finally the electronics design VLSI design of electronics visualizing and testing of Atmel microcontroller and sensor output in Xilinx welding of components into PCBs this is the manufacturing process in terms of the assembly the external body is welded with the top part the external body of the compost is fitted with electronics, sensors are fitted and wires are soldered, indicator lamps are fitted to the top port, circuits are soldered appropriately, metal covers are fitted to the carbon filter and electronic shaft door. The same advisory I have provided when we were looking at these kinds of detailed uh, processes in the other projects. What is important is not the correctness of the process as described by the team but the thought process that there should be a manufacturing understanding that there are steps in a typical manufacturing activity. The value chain needs to be captured and needs to be presented. That's the thought process which is required to ensure that no detail is left out in developing the startup product. Then you develop the project cost based on the land and building cost, the equipment cost, facility cost, which together may provide some pre-operative cost requirements as well and based on that you develop funding need for the pilot stage phase 1 and phase 2 make it cumulative and that you link it to the annual capacity that would come out at each stage. Product costing is done component wise and based on the conversion that is done either in house or in other facility you build the value addition to each material component cost and you arrive at the overall product costing. Now to test the prototype we need a proper mix of ground and green waste that is required to avoid issues like false smell, low heating etc. So testing is carried out to find the ideal proportion of ground and green waste. Both traditional composting and electric composting are used for this prototype testing in order to isolate and curb issues that occur during traditional composting. The compost mix testing results are produced below. If the brown green ratio is 3 is to 1, traditional composting takes time to heat up. In the case of electric composter, the thermistor for temperature adjustment ensures only minor variation in ETC. If it is 2 is to 1, 
there will be false smell in traditional composting which the electric composter can arrest by having carbon filters. If the brown green ratio is 3 is to 1, ideal but time consuming in traditional composting. But in electric composter, it can be ideal as well as a fast process. So that is the advantage of prototype testing. The proof of concept is in terms of the voice of customer, people's dissatisfaction with traditional composting, lack of availability of good electric composters in the market, reaching potential customers, reached out to customers who traditionally compost and ask their willingness to buy electric composters. Proof of idea, when this idea was presented to the community, there was 80% positive response. The gap in the market is well understood by the users. The user experience has been determined by reaching out to the potential customers for an interview on the prototype. Many were excited about the one-touch process and the solution which is in the form of the best e-composter with smart technology that is affordable and user friendly was very much appreciated, thus underlining the proof of concept. Then how do you ensure that there is a proof of business? They made further surveys and found out that 50 kg of food is thrown away per person every year. Per day waste generated by urban India is as high as 0.15 million tons. 68 million tons of waste is generated annually and 165 million tons will be generated by 2031. Only 28% can be treated by municipal corporations. 40% alone is biodegradable which means it is equal to 3200 TPD. If 10% of household uses ecovin, 87 TPD of kitchen waste would be reused. It is a big Yes, vote for the proof of business. So, what will be the operational strategies? Obviously, it will be subscription based. You need to have initial subscribers. The team said that they could aim at 2000 subscribers. There has been some quantitative and qualitative analysis to forecast demands. Expected annual increase in demand is 15 to 20 percent. Various marketing strategies such as paid media advertising point of purchase, top of mind awareness would be utilized and the expected annual increase in demand after 3 years is said to be 20 to 25 percent with price skimming techniques. The strategy will be make to stock and make to order. Between the two there will be a modified just in time strategy of inventory management. The organization structure, operational head supported by R&D legal HR and other miscellaneous services. But it is recognized that a strong R&D department is required to analyze and improvise the product. Various legal issues like patent protection, patent infringement, customer complaints, etc. can be handled by the legal team. HR team obviously looks after the human resource aspects, whereas the miscellaneous team looks after administration, production, supply managers, etc. which is a kind of supply chain and logistics uh, division. During the initial start of the business, a horizontal organization structure is followed to make it lean and non-layered and to motivate direct lines of communication. A vertical structure will be implemented as the business grows, opened the team. What are the HR strategies? A strong HR term is required and a strategic HR plan is proposed. Workout policy and procedures for smooth functioning of the operations. Assess staffing and skill needs, up-to-date training for employees, managing performance and implementing reward systems, conducting competitor analysis on a time-to-time -time basis. The unique selling points of the product are local composting is made easy, waste is converted into the best possible form that is the compost in no time, smart technology which will enable the user to relax and let the machine take over. Orderless, quick and hassle-free composting, a smart mobile device connected operation, non-toxic, non-infectious and space saver. These are the highlights which will be used in the marketing strategy. In terms of the four P's, the USP is the smart e-composter for household and the product is provided with accessories such as carbon filter cylinders which will make the product uh, waterless, 500 grams of microorganisms 
to enrich the manure, ground brown waste and disinfectant to make sure that the cleaning process are taken care of. The price affordable one time investment 70,000 rupees for the first two years and later price scheming techniques based on the demand as well as the differentiation warranty for two years and free aftercare service for three months. Say, in terms of place, sales and service at the same store, omni-channel distribution network, coverage in metro and tier 1 cities, e-commerce services. And in terms of the promotion, this is positioned as an essential requirement for every household. Marketing through product demo exhibitions, collaborations with media and social media influencers and a strong message based on the environmental friendliness and environmental empathy of the product and its uses. The business model answers four questions. What is EcoWin? A smart and affordable e-compost maker. Why? Because there is a dearth of affordable electric composters in the market. Who? Home gardeners, nurseries and homes and residential communities. And how? Through a product that is affordable, time-saving, hassle-free and non-toxic. The financial strategy, that is the fundraising strategy, the ideation phase, start with investments from friends and family, a very modest investment of 1 lakh is envisaged. Then you go to the prototype phase, get investment from angel investors in exchange of equity in the company, an investment of 10 lakhs is proposed. In the pre-commercialization phase, another 20 lakhs per investor is proposed and the number of investors is kept open and the investments will ideally from venture capital firms and in the fourth commercialization phase there will be investment from venture capital firms, investment banks and private equity firms. The investors will be Sequoia Capital, Nexus Venture Partners, IDFC and Intel Capital. The investment will be of Rs 25 lakhs per investor and Rs 50 lakhs through government loans. The financial strategy of fundraising will be in terms of five rounds. One, a setting up round, which is entirely financed by own savings with 100% of shares and with employee shareholding for through ESOPs being a small part. Then, seed round, where you look at the angel investors. Prototyping stage, when you start looking at high net worth individuals or bigger scale angel investors or lower scale venture capital firms. Pre-launch, you will go for full venture capital investment and at the launch phase, again, venture capital in different series for expansion. If the project goes well, if the product succeeds, as I mentioned, in respect of the other products, successive rounds of fundraise will be at higher levels of valuation with lower levels of dilution, bringing higher quantums of risk capital into the company. That would be a win-win for everybody. The cash flow statement is an important aspect of this to understand the cash flow from operating activities and cash flow from investing activities as well as financing activities and arriving at the net cash flow. You start with the beginning cash balance and end up with the ending cash balance. The discounted cash flow analysis is carried out to forecast the business's unlevered cash flow into the future and discount it back to the present. When the net present value is positive, it means that the discounted present value of all future cash flows related to that project or investment will be positive. This is a well understood DCF principle. The dilution strategy is also clearly laid out as to the number of shares that will be issued, number of shares additionally issued and what is the level of premium and what is the number of shares that the investors will hold, the employees will hold and the promoters will hold. Obviously, the number of shares that the promoters hold will not vary much unless the promoters also want to invest in the company at the higher valuations which generally the founders would not do. That's why the founders start with the highest possible equity level maybe around 98% or 95% and keep diluting in a fractional basis so that even after the full commercialization they hold a comfortably high level of shareholding which is maybe about 55 to 75% depending upon the nature of the company, nature of level of the success and the nature of the investors.
but a dilution strategy and a valuation strategy are imperative for any successful startup. The operations timeline for the business plan. Year 1, you start with a preferred third party manufacturer. Year 2, when the expected customer base is achieved, set up in-house manufacturing. Year 3, optimize the price using market skimming techniques to motivate full-scale production. Year 4, you automate the assembly line, adopt and execute world-class operational practices. Year 5, expand export to overseas countries, venture into large-scale manufacturing. These may not actually be the real strategic steps for a regular startup, but what is important again is that the team is thinking of a stage-gated business strategy and a stage-gated business plan. That is what the simulation of the startup project aims to achieve. It tries to focus your thought process on what a founding team must do to enable the startup achieve success over a period of time. Simultaneously, he has the operations take off. There will be research and development related to new models which will be progressively introduced at various stages of development and various stages of commercialization. Similarly, the human resources strategy will have its own timeline. Year 1 will be the core team with the founders, R&D, HR, legal and other functions. Year 2, there will be expansion based on training and schemes. The R&D team will only get stronger. Year 3, supported by third party vendors, lot of supply chain management and lot of quality and homologation activities to arrive at certifications to ensure quality. Year 4, you create and execute internal branding strategy. The external branding strategy would have been done even earlier. And in year 5, you establish a full-fledged team with strong customer support system. The marketing timeline, year 1, you go through marketing based on customer meets, demos, events, exhibitions and stalls. You conduct campaigns in social media on product features and key differentiating factors. Years 2 and 3, mass media marketing focus on proven value proposition actual usage in households. Year 4, expand in both rural and urban areas based on new products. Start exporting to contiguous SARP countries. Year 5, expand to commercial spaces with community kitchens. Export to additional developing countries. Again, there could be several methodologies of marketing, but it is important that the startup team is thinking about the marketing methodologies and has decided to go as per a particular path. The metrics for the project are in terms of cost per unit, selling price per unit, profit margin, growth rate in sales, payback period, interest, fixed asset, initial public offer readiness, tax holidays, tax etc. Many of these metrics have to be in terms of ratios and indexes as well. Finally, there must be a full-fledged five-year financial plan an income statement along with a balance sheet which provides the total assets and liabilities of the company as at the end of each year. Once you do this, you should also develop a growth plan, improving market penetration and ensuring market expansion, undertaking product development for both purposes and product diversification to support both the activities of market penetration and market expansion. The value proposition on EcoWin, which is titled as the Smart E-Compost Maker, is that it is compact, has less energy consumption, time-saving, non-toxic, child-proof, deploys smart technology, and is an all-season equipment. With this value proposition, it should be possible for the EcoWin smart decompost maker to win the hearts of the homemakers and the idea is to be better than the best a startup business with a purpose making a product which is intuitive and easy to use which will protect the environment which will build positive relationships with the soil and people and which is made for indian urban and rural households if you remember in one of the lectures special lectures that is I talked about having a socio-economic purpose beyond the business purpose. 
this project of e-composter is one such project which has environmental empathy and social responsibility embedded in the way the project is technologically developed and operationally manufactured. With this we come to the end of the lecture. I do hope you have benefited from these 12 special lectures. Each of these special lectures has brought to your attention several new developments in the startup ecospace, several additional insights and the most valuable component of these special lectures has been to stimulate startup thinking, startup development methodology, challenge yourselves on new project ideas and a thinking process for providing a solution to the problems that are envisaged in each of these domain areas that are accepted as startup opportunities. And the importance of analysis, the importance of understanding the competitors, the importance of drilling deep into the science and technology of the products, processes, technology platforms has been brought out in very clear terms. It is not a question of whether this project can actually be operationalized, but it is certainly an answer as to how a typical successful startup would conceptualize, develop and execute a startup project and how the startup founding team will be able to attract the investors based on the value proposition that the product or the service would offer to the community. So ideating, prototyping, testing and validation and raising finances are important components of startup development along with various strategies of the functions which are capped into a business strategy and a workable business model. So the main course is substantially reinforced, made contemporary and expanded with additional insights and also very stimulating project simulation opportunities. So with this I close the series of special lectures. Thank you very much for your attention and for those of you who want to be entrepreneurs, I do hope that this course and these special lectures have provided enough food for thought and enough guidance to embark on the entrepreneurial discovery and entrepreneurial journey portions of your entrepreneurship career. So with this I wish you all the very best and hope I will meet with you again in another lecture. It could be leadership, it could be strategy and technology, it, and it could be the forthcoming lecture on lecture series on business development that I would be unveiling for the year 2023. So it has been a great experience sharing my perspectives with you. I thank NPTEL and I thank the Swayam platform. I also thank the video team. I thank my teaching assistant, Mr. K. Gopinath and the virtual assistant I have for uh, preparing the documents, Tarni Matilda and I am happy that I have been able to present this particular series of special lectures for you as a significant reinforcement of the already popular entrepreneurship course. Thank you. All the best once again. Bye.